Baja Blast. Oh, it's aged remarkably well over 20 years. You know what else has? Resident Evil 4. I mean, or I mean, yes, as it's my last day of being 31 before my 32nd tomorrow, oh, uh, I means it's time to talk about another Resident Evil game. Aim the. 2023 remake of Resident Evil 4, I mean, which, given the success of the ones of both 2 and, to an extent, 3, he, the question, as well as the impact the original left, that's the point was one of the many influences on 7 and Village, the question I was asking myself was always going to be when, rather, if was what happened. And even regarding that Kroby Cat video, I mean, uh, whether or not you think it lives up to the massive legacy left by the original game, that's fully for you to decide. In my case, however, yes. I'll say that what I played so far does mark it as a worthy update to one of the most influential installments in the franchise, and survival horror or genre as a whole so let's talk about it more and get into how it reimagines a classic let's begin first off of as has been noted the tone is a bit different I mean and then it was as well obviously still keep the elements from the original they couldn't dance around the way they presented in many respects, is vastly different. It's been said that the original shares a lot of DNA with and the Evil Dead trilogy, especially the combining like the dark, dark comedy and horror the first two installments with the the more gothic elements of Army of Darkness. Well, I can definitely make the case in this one. It has something of a John Wick's and a Hick flavor towards it, where here. It's definitely and he's still not without his thrills, but the way that they're implemented the way I've seen things done in this game with the combats and an action that that other people try to use with oil on canvas as well, I mean which especially I will state that as a little transition to the talking about the me mechanics, next, if you attempt to play this like you play the original, you will die a lot. I can definitely verify that, even just from my experience with the chainsaw demo about this time a year ago. Yeah. Second is the approach to encounters, hers and. Even though, of course, most the, the versions of combat have established where moving with the tank controls, where the left unlocks and moves your character and right stick aims your weapon, and which would also go on to be commonplace as across many other installments. Moments. The way it's been implemented. With the, the the parry system in particular has been nearly completely redesigned, and some encounters are a bit trickier, like the recurring chainsaw man enemy. He, others, hers are are just completely reworked from ground up. But yes, you can still roundhouse kick like enemies in the face or chest in certain scenarios, which. It's still a bit as fun as ever, I mean, especially. Hmm. I could also make the case that whereas many aspects of the original game make it only an unintentional period piece for the time in which it came out, it's now come full circle with it reaching a point in the calendar where we can start feeling nostalgic with some things in the 2000s where 
it's now some deliberate period piece now to which it was released. Yes, and though I will admit I am fully behind my decision to uh, revamp Ashley's role from the original game, um, because apparently he one of them as well documented in the original they used Britney Spears reference points. This before we all knew about the conservatorship, obviously. Mm. Lastly, here is how the game put a story and presentation in which you still have to find Ian Ashley in a remote help village in South America. Uh, though many of the exact circumstances and way things play out are a different main and 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 it's clear that the RE engine is still very, very impressive tech and even on on my system I still not have a PS5 yet but I am glad some of the titles that will be upgraded to that level once I do have one and naturally with the next build that Capcom is working on codenamed the Rex engine is generally a talk about which will be the next one to get this treatment not certain about RE5, given how a lot of the issues with the base version were fixed in the Gold Edition, which became the basis for most subsequent ports. But I would definitely be in favor of seeing this applied to the original game, RE0, and Code Veronica, especially. And I will say that the... And now that I've used this orb to unlock a door, the ball is very much in your court, Silent Hill 2 Remake. I would definitely say it works if it cut out for you, given how much of a disaster Ascension has been. And anyway, that'll be all for now. And I'll see you all again very soon, since I just got my rough draft of my Script by 250 subscriber special finish, so... That way for now, so take care everyone. Mm -hmm.